Okay, I want to do something a little bit more practical on the channel this time and uh, tackle like a real world problem uh, in machine learning or with machine learning in this case and like see um, how that sort of resonates with people out there watching. Um, one of the uh, problems I've tackled a few months ago is kind of an interesting candidate here and it's keyword extraction, but on short text. And so there are three main keyword extraction algorithms out there already, which are uh, very good. Um, so in order of sort of appearance, we have a TFIDF, the rake algorithm and the text rank algorithm. Uh, I'm putting some uh, information about them on the screen right now, but uh, research them uh, in your own time if you want to. Uh, but they all basically, for me, have the same problem, and that is that they only work on larger volumes of text, something like a paragraph or larger. And um, the problem I had to tackle a few months ago had to do with very short pieces of text, basically sentences in, in the form of questions. And so the keywords that I was trying to extract only basically appeared once in the sentence, which makes it very difficult to identify them. And after trying out um, the three algorithms I just mentioned and um, finding out that uh, keyword extraction on short text is actually uh, a well-known problem, I started to try and think of a solution. And I found the solution by thinking of um, ways that uh, we already have uh, in existence on how to transform one line of text into another piece of text, um, very short ones, uh, that that's already working. And I found that in translation. So when you think of um, translation, you can think of, for instance, like English to Chinese. Um, Google Translate can do this. Like it is not perfect, but it's it's pretty it's pretty good at it. And so you can kind of identify there that like grammar doesn't really seem to matter too much to Google Translate because um, English and Chinese grammar is very different from from each other. And so they found a way of making making that work. And so I stumbled onto sequence to sequence networks that are used often in translation. And um, the way I started approaching this problem was like, what if I just decide that uh, keywords based on a short sentence of text is basically just like another language. It's the language of keywords, a language completely void of grammar. And so that's that's eventually how this ended up working. Uh, like um, I wrote a sequence to sequence network that was initially meant for translation. I kind of like uh, mangled it into into um, doing what I needed it to do, which really didn't take that much effort. It was basically just providing it with a different data set that I wanted. And the uh, obtaining that data set was just a little bit more difficult because I personally couldn't find any open data set that had short sentences and, and uh, related keywords. I could find some that had uh, paragraphs and related keywords, but again, that's that wasn't going to work. So eventually an idea came came uh, forward on, on how to obtain this data set, and it was quite kind of uh, brilliant. Um, it, it wasn't my idea, but... Um, Somebody told me, why don't you just use uh, blogs, like very, very established blogs. And, and I ended up using a life hacker mostly to scrape uh, all of their articles and scrape the title and their, um, their meta tag keywords. Because these blogs take a lot of effort to, um, to define the right keywords for their title because um, that's part of their social, um, no, their search engine optimization. Uh, and 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 they they yeah put a lot of effort in that stuff, and so with a little bit of like tweaking and and um, manipulating, that ended up to be like the perfect data set for for this problem, and so in this it's going to be uh, probably a three part series. This is going to be the introduction. Then uh, in the next video we will build the data set. We will actually write the scraper to build this data set, and then in the in the third video, we will uh, write the sequence to sequence neural network that is going to perform this translation for us or um, like the keyword extraction in this case. 
and you know from there on we might we might revisit you know to do some some other things but that's basically uh, what this this um little series of videos is going to be about and yeah this you can really apply this to a lot of different um like so that you can build algorithms on top of this like for, for me i needed these keywords to build a search algorithm and uh, i might actually um I might actually go into that uh, in later videos. There is a video on this channel where I'm presenting at Data for Good in Paris, um, where we are presenting uh, a, a technology that was actually um, built on top of this this keyword extraction um, method. And so, um, yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'll probably like in the next two days or so, we'll come out with the first video where we'll do like um like a live coding all the way to get to the um to building the data set